So, we will start our lectures on control systems. Okay. Now, the first question here is what is a control system at all? Okay. So, a control system is something which performs a desired or a specific objective in response to some inputs. Okay. So, let us say you have a control system like this. Okay, This is a control system. Now, if you give it some input, then it will give some output. This output is the desired objective. For example, if you consider a air conditioner, okay, then it will have a remote, right? It will have a screen and it will have some buttons on it, right? So, with using these buttons, you can set the temperature, you can set the fan speed, fan alignment, right? So, all these the setting the temperature, this fan speed, whatever we can, whatever the buttons correspond to, these are the inputs. Okay. And this remote is a, it is a control system and depending on the inputs that we give, it will make the air conditioner to work at that desired temperature or at that desired fan speed or whatever conditions that we give to the remote. Right. So, this is one example of a control system. Like this you can have many other examples. For example, if you consider the DC or AC motors that we have. Okay? So, we control the speed of these motors. So, speed control is obtained by means of a control system. Okay? So, this is also one example of a control system. So, this answers our question of what is meant by a control system. A control system is something which gives a desired objective in response to the input given to it. Okay? Now, a control system, it can either be a open loop control system or it can be a closed loop control system. Okay? So, open loop closed system are also called as non-feedback systems. That means it will not have feedback. We will see what is meant by feedback shortly. Okay? And closed loop systems are those which have feedback. Now, the general representation of a open loop system, it will be like this. It will have one controller okay? and an input will be given to the controller. From the controller, the output goes to a plant. Okay, and this will give the output. This we will understand by means of a simple example. Let us consider a fan. Okay, so for the fan to switch on a fan, you will need a switch, right? So a switch essentially means that we are giving some voltage to it. Okay, once you switch on the fan, what will happen? The fan will rotate. Okay, so this is the input you are switching it on and the fan rotation is the output and in between you will also have the fan regulator okay so what will happen at the regulator you can set different speeds with the help of the regulator and depending on the output of the regulator the fan will rotate at that particular speed so if you consider this diagram here the input for the fan will be the switch or you can see the voltage that is given to it okay and the controller will be the regulator the fan regulator depending on the setting of the regulator we will get a signal here okay so we will get a modified voltage okay and the plant will be the fan whatever the components that are present in the fan that will be the plant and what will be the output the output will be the rotation of the fan now this is an example of open loop we will see what is a closed loop system in a closed loop system 
you will have input as usual ok and here you will have an error detector ok and next you have the controller ok and from here you have the plant and then you have the output ok and from the output you will have a feedback ok this feedback will be fed to the error detector so at the error detector you will have one input and you will have one feedback signal ok so here you have signal which is why it is called a closed loop system if you consider the same example of fan ok what happened in the open loop system you just had a regulator ok you had a switch a regulator ok and from it you are getting the output which is the rotation but you do not have any means to know if the output is matching the desired output that means let us say you have set the speed to some value say n ok this is the desired speed in the open loop system we do not know whether the fan is actually running at this speed ok but in a closed loop system you can measure the output speed so what happens in a closed loop system whatever the output let us say the same example of fan the speed of the fan right now the speed of the fan it can be measured by means of a taco generator ok so this consists of the feedback device the taco generator forms the feedback device ok so it will give a voltage that is proportional to the speed and it will be fed back to the error detector ok so depending on this feedback signal we can in turn get a signal ok which will allow the fan to rectify its speed to the desired output so we will learn more about this feedback systems what is meant by feedback and what are the effects of feedback we will learn in a different chapter ok for now we just understood what is meant by an open loop system and what is meant by a closed loop system and one more thing is at the plant you might have some disturbance input ok and similarly for the closed loop system you will have some disturbances ok disturbance is something which is unwanted noise ok and one more important thing here is the feedback elements this usually consists of some measuring devices ok that is how you can measure the output right also after measuring it needs to convert it into appropriate signal like in this example the speed was converted to voltage right so what did we have here we needed a transducer what is a transducer something which converts energy from one form to another ok so here speed is a mechanical energy and voltage is a electrical energy so feedback will usually consists of measuring and transducers